In this training, we will explain how to find the right components in Erius Risk and add them to our diagram. The concept of a component in Erius Risk is a representation of any piece of IT that we would include to build an application. It can be something physical, like a receipt printer, or something more conceptual, like social media. Components can be generic for cases where more details are not yet available, or they can be very specific to a vendor's product offering. Whatever the case may be, the search function is here to help us find what we need. Alternatively, Arius Risk also has component categories that we can use. These categories logically group components together by technology, by topic, by vendor, or any other trait that unites them. Let's pop over to Arius Risk to see what this all means in practice. In the last training, we added two trust zones to our diagram to represent the internet on the left and a public cloud environment on the right. To find what we need, click the Search Components text box, type SQL, and hit Enter to see all components that have the string SQL in their title or their description. Hovering over a component in this list of results shows a tooltip that tells us more about the component and its associated risk patterns. Let's use the other SQL database component for now. This is a good placeholder in a phase of our design where we haven't decided exactly which type of database technology we'll be using, but we do know that it will be some sort of SQL database. Click and drag the component on top of a trust zone. Before releasing the mouse button, notice the highlight that appears around the trust zone. This is an indication that the trust zone is ready to receive this component. When you release the mouse, you place that component into the trust zone. Today we learned two things about components. They are the core building blocks of a threat model in Arius Risk and form the sources and destinations of data flows.